is the rapture going to happen in September? Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that try to theorize and time out when the rapture is going to happen. Um, now, understand something, just a basic doctrine of Scripture. Does the New Testament ever say when the catching up of the body of Christ, more the better term there, not rapture, but does the Bible ever give an exact time for it? No. Does the Bible even hint at it? No. You say, well, um, <clears throat> you see the Song of Solomon, it talks about arise my love, my fair one, and come away, you know, and, and, and that's in the spring. Okay, uh, that's not doctrinally proving that the rapture will happen in the spring. Oh yes, but the, uh, the Feast of Trumpets, you see, the, the Feast of Trumpets, we know that the Feast of Trumpets is there as kind of the precursor to show us that the catching up of the body of Christ is going to be in the month of September because the Feast of Trumpets and the, uh, where does the Bible say that? It doesn't, um, there is no time given for the catching up of the body of Christ, okay, as I'm hiking out of the trail here. So anybody that comes out and says, I think it's going to be in September, you can know right away that they're lying to you. Um, now, what does the Bible say about the end times? Are there any clues to when we're in the end times? And um, yes, is the answer to that. And the Bible says that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, as I'm falling down here, and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Excuse me, had to get down that with one hand. Um, so we do know about that. The Bible also says in the last days that perilous times shall come. The men would be fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, you know, heady, high-minded, the whole thing, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. So my question for you is, does the Bible teach that there is a specific time when the rapture will happen? No, the Bible does not say that. You say, well, it implies, it infers, but it doesn't teach. It's not doctrine. Does the Bible, however, tell us certain signs of the end times that we are supposed to look for? Yes, it does. Well, have perilous times come? You say, yes, I heard about a carjacking in downtown Chicago, and I heard about somebody got stabbed on a subway in New York City. Okay, well, that certainly is bad. But that kind of stuff goes on all the time, and it has gone on all, all the time uh, in the past. My contention, brethren, is that the uh, perilous times that come, we will be seeing that before the catching up of the body of Christ. Why? Because that's what the New Testament says. The New Testament doesn't say, all will be peaceful, and on September 23rd of 2023, the rapture will happen at the Feast of Trumpets, and all will be glorious, and all will be wonderful and beautiful and whatever else. The Bible doesn't say that. I have to get down here and get down this thing without... It's been raining a lot too, so the rocks are slippery. The Bible doesn't say anything like that, brethren. And uh, while it would be nice in some ways, I guess, to say we're going to be out of here and the rapture is going to happen at any time, you know, uh, no, the Lord has it planned out. The Lord knows exactly when it's going to happen, and it's not when we lead enough people to Jesus Christ. I used to teach that. The doctrine of imminence, you know, you can kind of say the doctrine of imminence. The imminence was that, is a teaching that uh, there's no, there's nothing that predates the uh, rapture. It's, it could just be, it ha happened at any time. It could have happened in the first century. It could have happened in 1200, 1400. 1800 whenever well that's not true obviously there's a specific time of jacob's trouble that's coming in the future many people call it the great tribulation that's description not a title daniel's 70th week is another title for it but um that time period is planned god knows exactly when it's going to happen the angels that are in the uh great river euphrates or whatever they're bound 
for a, a year and a month and a day and an hour. And uh, the Lord knows when that, when that is. We don't. But we are taught in the scriptures that we are going to see perilous times and all the other horrible things. Now we've seen talk of forced vegetarianism, commanding to abstain from meats, but it hasn't been implemented as law, at least in most places. We still have the freedom to go get meat in the grocery store. But what happens if it becomes actual law and the grocery stores no longer sell meat? Hmm, that would be a, an issue for those of us that have a lot of meat in our diet. And you know, on that note, let me just say this too. What about those of us that have our pets on a natural diet? You know, oh, we're going to limit the amount of meat that you can have. Okay, what about my dog? My dog eats meat twice a day. Uh, what do I do about him? Put him on a vegetarian diet? I don't think he would appreciate that very much. <laughs> um, he's very healthy. He actually got uh, bit in the eye eyelid yesterday by a deer fly and his eye was his left eye was swollen shut and um it's not even 24 hours later and it's looking almost back to normal again he's got a very good immune system in other words um so uh your forced vegetarianism is not going to work it goes against uh my ancestral diet my ancestors ate meat we were not vegan or vegetarian. If you are a vegetarian, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. There's no New Testament scripture saying that you have to eat meat. Actually, to the contrary, him that is weak eateth herbs. And I'm not supposed to despise him that eats herbs. Um, you're absolutely fine. I will never persecute a believer for eating vegetables or, and fruits and vegetables and being a non-meat eater. That's fine. Um, cultural things and whatever else. Um, are there your ancestral traditions might not be that of a meat eater I don't know um, normally I'm a little bit more graceful in this area but uh, with carrying a camera I have to be a little bit more careful so um, <laughs> but anyhow um, so we will see certain things brethren and you can't just say Oh man, it's getting bad in the world, so the rapture must be really soon. Uh, the perilous times haven't come yet, brethren. It's not exactly perilous out here. And the Bible talks about, you know, when the Antichrist shows up in Revelation chapter 6, uh, the red horse rider shows up after him, and peace is taken from the earth. So, even out here in a place like this, it will be a very bad time. The worst time period in the history of the world, in the history of mankind, is yet to come. As bad as things are right now, it's going to get much worse. And not because of the uh, Jesuits succeeding, or the Bilderbergers, or the Illuminati, or the Freemasons, or whoever. No, it's actually going to get a lot worse because they're failing. Um, mankind is going to uh, be proven to be the greatest failure ever in the future so don't forget that um we're not heading towards success you know all the computerization and everything digitization and we're going to have central bank digital currencies and and all oh, it's going to be this wonderful new future no it isn't no it isn't they came out with self-checkout lines to streamline the shopping process and what's happening um actually it's making problems worse uh, there's people that are learning how to scam things and and uh, put stuff in people's shopping carts and they go through and then they can get it out. I mean, there's, I'm hearing all kinds of scam stuff. You know, every time you bring out some new thing, people will find ways to tear it down and corrupt it. Why? Because the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's why. Every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Um, there's none good. There's none that seeketh after God. They're all turned aside. They're all, you know, going away. That's what the Bible teaches about man. So when you say, well, we're going to have this brave new world and everything else, um, it's going to fail. 
that's the way it is. And what you think about it doesn't mean anything. So, um, don't believe any liar that comes out and says that uh, um, the rapture is going to happen. It's going to happen this September. This, it looks like it because the blood moon's lined up and the and the uh, Baptist convention is a week before, so it has to, you know, that ends the church age or something. Or I'm making stuff up, but you know, don't fall for it, okay? That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.